Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi and I am happy that you're here today. In today's video, I will be stuffing the uh, money that I was able to get from the bank to my savings uh, envelopes. So, and some of my challenges also are gonna get stuffed today. So first of all, let's count the money. I recently posted my uh, budget with me video so I hope you guys were able to see that and enjoy it if you haven't don't forget to uh, watch that video and um, I can leave the link in the comments below so let's start here um, one two I added some money here so let's start counting this one here this one are the G dollars so I'm gonna be saving this ones and see how much I can actually save so actually I'm gonna put this ones to the back like that I don't get that confused but let's count here one two three and four so four dollars five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty and thirty five ten twenty thirty forty and fifty 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, and 40. So 240, and I have the 329 that I have set on my uh, budget with me video. So let's go ahead and uh, start stuffing my envelopes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just get my paper out. Uh, this sheet is where I'm keeping track for the month of September how my envelopes are growing. So I already did a video on this one. If you haven't seen it, I hope you're able to see it. And then this one was my budget with me video, which is the one that was posted right before this one that you're seeing right now. And then here is the one that I'm gonna be working with right now because I'm gonna be adding money and I wanna know what my new balance is here. So once I finish this, this video, I can go back into this one and add how much money we have um, saved so far on each envelope. So that's how I have been able to organize myself when it comes to the cash envelopes. So I'm gonna put that one on the side and then I'm going to put this one right here. Actually, I'm right-handed, but I want the money there too. I'll leave it here for now. So I'm gonna start with, let me just write the dates here. September 1st to the 15th and my amount my amount is 329 okay so for the uh, personal I'm gonna add the 20 and I have 20 in my wallet which I'm not gonna count so I'm gonna add the 20 and I have 100 in the bank I have 20 here so I'm adding 20 and that makes 140. For planners, I'm gonna add a 20. I only have a 10, so now I have $30. So now I have 30. I'm trying to save money for future planners for next year. Um, this goes in here. Um, I'm gonna do the um, the trackers later, I guess, so it doesn't take too long here. Uh, day night is not gonna get anything. Meals is gonna get 20. So meals has 20, and I'm adding 20. So that's 40. For groceries, I'm adding a 20, and that's all it has. I 
entertainment. Um, I'm not adding anything and I should have in here $70. So that should stay the same. Spending, I think that's all in this envelope. I mean in this binder. I always say envelope. Um, for my personal binder, this I can put away because I'm not adding nothing here. For my personal binder, I need the YouTube giveaway envelope. That one does not have anything and I'm going to add a $10 here and that's all it has. Um, give away $10, so 10. My next one is going to be my husband's personal. And this one I'm adding a 20 and that's all it has. Um, for home decor, I'm adding a five, I'm sorry, for home a five and for home decor a 20. So for home, I'm adding a $5. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80 and 85. In the home binder I'm filming this after the storm Idalia and thankfully nothing happened to us here but there's a lot of flood like in some places up to your knees in other places up to your waist that's how much flood we had here in uh, where I live Home decor, I said is 20, so now it has 25. And that's all for this binder. For my family binder, I love the magnet, but this magnet, like it works, but it's easy for it to, I don't know come off that bothers me for family I am going to our mom's envelope and I'm going to add on that one five dollars that looks like a three uh, for anniversary I'm adding a 20 and then for travel I'm adding a 10 okay so for moms I'm adding a five and I have a five already in there, so it has $10 altogether. So that's a 10. For anniversary, I'm adding a 20. And I have a $5 bill. So it has 25 now. And then for travel, it has a $5 bill and I'm adding a 10. So now it has 15. Okay. So let's add this up really quick. And I'm going to add what I'm adding here just so we can make this faster. And I'm just going to fast forward this. Okay, so moving on to our short term. Moving on to our short term, which is the white one. For this one, I'm only gonna stuff two envelopes here, which is gonna be my fifth one. I'm gonna, I have a five and I'm adding a 20, so now I have 25. And then for month ahead, I have 45 and I'm adding a 20. 
So now I have 20, 40, 60, and 65. Sixty five for a month ahead, and I'm moving on now to my um, long term binder, which is a great one. And for this one here, I'm going to my property taxes for my land, and I'm going to add ten dollars. So now I have twenty, forty, fifty, and sixty. For AAPC, I'm going to add a 20. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, and 85. Almost halfway there. If by the time I have to renew, I don't have enough money on these envelopes, I'm gonna have to take money from my separate savings that I have to complete whatever it is that I'm missing. For Canva, I'm also adding a 20. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, and 90. So I'm getting closer to Canva. I think I want to finish that one. Eset, I'm not adding nothing here or PO Box. So now moving on to our future binder put this here and then for our future binder only my husband and myself is going to get something so i'm going to add a five now i have 10 for my husband and where's mine I put this ones backwards. Let me fix this really quick. This goes first and mine goes last. And then for mine, I'm also adding a five dollar bill. So now I also have 10. And then for his truck payoff, I am adding a 15, so oops, a 10 and a 5. So now he has 10, 15, and 20 dollars. For the Lexus, for my car, I'm adding a 10, I'm adding 10 dollars, so I have 15. I want to pay off his truck first because we owe less on his so I'm going to be adding more to his than to mine and then that's going to be all for this future binder and then we're going to move on to okay so we're going to be moving on to our our challenges so let me write in here um my g money because i have two with the letter g i'm gonna add them to my envelope why is that coming off um do i have a g oh i don't have it here it's gonna be my white binder so i'm gonna put that away for now that does not go there it goes here g money um for my challenges for the three uh for the one dollar challenge so here's one dollar i'm adding three to that one right now i have zero so i'm adding one two and three let me just use this one so I'm adding three on this one let's just do this really quick the next one is my five dollar challenge 
and that one I'm adding 10. So my last two right here, so it's five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So I'm adding two, I already have 15. And I think this will be the last time I'm counting these ones because I know once I get to the end, I'll be uh, saving $200. So I'm just gonna be adding and not counting. Uh, let me write this down for the $5, I added 10. And then the challenge number three, I'm gonna start that one in the fall. And then for this one is the 50, um, 50 envelope challenge. And for this one, I am going to add 21. So I'm adding $21 to this one. are all ones okay so I have a 21 okay and now the only one that I need to add money to is my G money Okay, I had a phone call and I got distracted, but um, I did the challenges. I need to do, I did the 50 envelopes. So this is, this binder is my uh, games binder. So I don't have any games because I already did that uh, video, but I want to add these two uh, $1 bills to my G dollars. And I have not created anything for that. I'm going to have to put one of the zipper envelopes here for this because it keeps coming out so for now I just have it with a sticky note but I think I'm going to change that and just print one out and um, just put the G dollars in here and I added two and I have three now so that's going to be all for this cash stuffing here I have 13 um, challenge one. Oh, I said I wasn't going to count this. So I think I'm going to remove this then from here and remove this from here and remove all of this and then just leave this too because I don't want to count the money. I should remove this too also. Let's see. Probably for next one, for the next um, cash stuff and I'll change that. But that's going to be all for this video. This is all for this video. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing. Besides planner videos, I like doing, as you see, my budget and my cash stuffing videos. So I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.